Solve the simultaneous equation 3x squared plus 4y squared is equal to 16. x is equal to y minus 1. Show clear algebraic working. Okay, so we're solving a quadratic with a linear function. So write both down functions down. We'll call this one equation 1 and this one equation 2. And what we do is we'll substitute, because we've already got x is equal to, we'll substitute 2 into 1. So instead of x here, we'll now write y minus 1. So we're going to have three brackets, y minus 1 all squared, plus 4y squared is equal to 16. If it's not equal to, then we would have to write this as though it was equal to something, either x or y. Right, now, the trick is to expand, make sure that you expand this bracket first rather than multiplying it through by 3, which would not be correct because um, if, if you take it inside the bracket, that will 3 would actually become a 9. So we'll expand that first. So we've got 3, y times y minus 1 minus 1 times y minus 1 plus 4y squared is equal to 16. Keep that 3 out. And now multiply y times y, which gives you y squared. y times minus 1, which gives you minus y. Minus 1 times y, which gives you minus y. And minus times a minus gives you plus 1. Be careful with that changing the sign. We've still got the plus 4y squared is equal to 16. Collect together the like terms. So we've got 3y squared minus 2y plus 1 plus 4y squared is equal to 16. Right, we're now in a position we can now multiply that through by that 3 through that bracket. So the clue is don't do it too early. So multiply the bracket by 3. So we're going to get 3y squared minus 6y plus 3 plus 4y squared is equal to 16. We now have a quadratic in y. We need to rewrite it. So at this end we're going to have 0 and we collect together the like terms first. So we're going to get 7y squared minus 6y plus 3 is equal to 16. We'll now take 16 from both sides. So we get 7y squared minus 6y. 3 minus 16 is minus 13. And 16 minus 16 gives me 0. Now, either you attempt to factorise this, or now if you can't factorise it, is use the quadratic formula. However... It does actually factorise. The product 7 times minus 13 is minus 91. The sum is minus 6. This is quite a hard one to factorise. The factors will be minus 13 and 7. Minus 13 times 7 is 91. And minus 13 plus 7 will give you uh, minus 6. But if you can't do that, use the quadratic formula. So we now write down our quadratic expression. Splitting the middle term up into minus 13x plus 7, sorry, minus 13y, plus 7y, minus 13 is equal to 0. And then we group the first two terms together. The only common factor is y, so we get y, 7y minus 13. Write down the plus. There is no common factor here, so we'll put a 1 in, and then we'll make it 7y minus 13 is equal to 0. We've got the same thing here, 7y minus 13. That can come out as a common factor. And then we have y plus 1 is equal to 0. So either 7y minus 13 is equal to 0, which gives 7y is 13, y is 13 over 7. Leave it as a fraction, do not use decimals. Or y plus 1 is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 1. We find the y values, we have to go back and find the x values, so substitute back into equation 2, which was x is equal to y minus 1. So we're going to have, when y is equal to 13 over 7, we're going to have x is 13 over 7 minus 1. Don't try to work this out algebraically in an exam. Use the fraction button on your calculator to get uh, 13 over 7 minus 1 is 6 over 7. Leave it as a fraction. And then when y is equal to minus 1, x is going to be minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2. Now pair up the solutions. So, so the solutions are when x is minus 2, y is 1. So when x is minus 2, y, sorry, y is minus 1. And when x is 6 over 7, y is 13 over 7. Make sure you pair up the solutions at the end. 
And again, here, if it gets difficult to factorize, use the quadratic formula. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to solve simultaneous equations where you have a quadratic and a linear function. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.